In the overview video, you saw the basic EBID template that's built into PEP. It's generic enough that you can use it without making changes. But once you start using the EBID, you'll want to personalize it. So let me show you how to customize the basic EBID template. At the end, I'll show you what the customized EBID will look like. Start by clicking Settings, Miscellaneous, and scroll down to EBID Templates. Highlight the basic EBID and click Customize. You can't see it right now, but Pep just asked me to confirm that I want to copy the basic EBID, which I do. Here's the copy. I'm going to click Edit and change the name to Customized Basic EBID. And I'm going to click Done. Now I can edit these pages. If you look below the list of EBIT templates, you'll see the pages in the EBIT. There are actually nine pages in this EBIT, but four are hidden. Let me show you how to unhide one of these pages. I want my customized EBIT to include references because it's a great opportunity to highlight past work. I'm going to select the page, References. And at the bottom of the list of pages, I'm going to click Edit. And then I'm going to uncheck this box that says Hide this page. Now I can add a few names and pictures so that I can show off some of my work. I also want to delete this text down here. I don't want this default text to show up. Adding pictures to your EBIT is a great way to make it more engaging. I want to add a picture of the Pep Guru to the welcome page. So I'm going to select the welcome page. I'm going to scroll down to edit. If you want to change the welcome text, you can do that right here. Anywhere you see funny text like this, the program is going to autofill with information about you, your customer, or your company. I don't want to change the text, but I do want to add a picture. So I'm going to click the little image icon. I'm going to hop over to the Upload tab. I'm going to click Choose File, and it's going to pop up my Documents page so that I can choose from the pictures that I have saved on my computer. Once I've picked the photo I want, I'm going to click Send it to the server, and then I can make any changes or edits to the picture that I need to from there. I also want to edit the About Us page. So let me go over to there, About Us, Edit. You can add pictures here of past work that you've done or a picture of your crew. All you have to do is click New, choose a file from your documents. You can give the file a name and the picture uh, will have that title when it shows up in your eBay. You can also write something about it, give it a caption. You can write your own text about your company down here in this text box, or you can pull something that you already have from your website and paste it in here. Let me show you one more thing. The proposal is itemized and organized by area with an area subtotal and then a grand total of labor and materials at the bottom. You can adjust the information displayed on the proposal by changing these check boxes right here. Now let me show you what the modified EBID looks like. I have one right here. I'm going to click preview. I added the Pep Guru to the welcome page. I added some pictures to the About Us page. I also added references and a few pictures for each of those past jobs. I left the proposal, the agreement, and the right to cancel the same. I put pictures in the estimate, which is why they are here as part of this proposal. So, use the eBid template right out of the box without any customizations. But when you're ready, 
try customizing the basic template. Either way, your clients will be impressed with this presentation, and anything you can do to set yourself apart from the competition is great.